Hi, in this video, I'm going to share with you something, that, an innovation that I've come up with that is helping people to sleep so much better and to feel energized. My name is Kelly Item. I'm the author of this book over here and that book over there. That's a, a, a Russian version, they tell me, of this book here. I'm also a co-founder of Sinus Magic, and I come up with inventions and innovations, and I like to share them for free for you. And in this one, I'm going to share with you how you can sleep better. And it's really amazing. I'll, first, I'll show you the nuts and bolts of how to do it. And, and then if you're interested, after I'm done with that, I will share with you why this works, if you're interested in knowing that as well. Uh, so let's get right down to it. And it's, it's amazing. It's, and we're using uh, not electricity, but we're using frequencies. And all you do is you get yourself some copper wire, and you're going to be putting this on either ceiling fans or record players. And, um, and you, can get, you can get ceiling fans that uh, are light bulb ceiling fans. You just screw in the light bulb that hangs down. And, and it has their little blades, but you can put, you can do this. So anyway, you get yourself a copper wire, and how long should the copper wire be? Well, you're going to measure your ceiling fan blade, and you're going to, so let's say that's 20 inches, then you would want the wire to be 40 inches. You know, if it's 15 inches, you'd want it to be 30 inches, whatever. So you want the wire to be twice as long, because you're going to bend it in half, right? And then you're going to take it bent, here, I've already stuck this in here. Uh, there's going to be a looped end of, of, after you've bent the wire. And you're going to stick it in there. And by the way, when you bend it, you're going to find that you don't bend it exactly right. You're going to have one end longer than the other. You can just snip off that little extra piece. Yeah, no big deal. Um, and then you're going to, like I say, you're going to stick it in a power drill. And on the other end, here, I don't have a pliers right here in front of me. But let's say my fingers are pliers. You're going to hold the other end as far to the end as you can and to secure it. And then you're going to gently push the button here uh, to make the power drill turn. And it will twist the wire slowly. And it is gently, gently, gently. It'll take practice to do it gently. Um, but when you feel it start to buckle, or you might see it start to buckle, stop. And you'll have a nice, beautiful, straight wire. This mine has been abused. It's, it's you know, yours will be pretty. And then you're going to take that copper wire and make sure they're all the same length. You know, you can hold, put them down next to each other, and then trim them so they're the same length. And then you're going to take the the loop end. I like to put towards the center of the blade. You know, towards you know towards the motor end. And and that way they're all equidistant around. And then you're going to take some clear packing tape and tape it down the, the entire length of, the, of the, uh, the copper. And then you just turn on the fan on, on high. And if it's too cool, so a lot of these fans you can turn on so they go in the reverse direction. So that it's not, not, you know, it doesn't make you feel cold. And you leave it running all the time because we're exposed to this stuff that this stuff that the, the copper is preventing uh, all the time, you know, from smart meters in our home. I call them smart meters, you know, uh, Wi-Fi, even copying machines. You, you walk into an office and you can measure that the, that the negative ions and the positive ions, and the negative ions will be very low. It could be as low as 100 or even zero. And the positive ions will be high, and, and, and it turns out that's just the opposite of what we need. And I'll get to that in a moment. Because what this affects is, is the fluid in our brains. I looked it up for some reason. I Don't ask me why I looked this up. But we have only about four ounces of, of uh, cerebrospinal fluid in our brain. It goes around the brain and down the spine and back. And we have these areas like two layers of rivers. Maybe it might be like the Everglades, you know, kind of flowing there of this spinal fluid. So what is it doing? It's clearing out the dead cells in our brain. Every day we got dead cells dying and brain cells die. They do. And it washes them out, cleans them out. And we do most of that at night. And so if, 
if this fluid is slowed down, it's going to get cloudy. And sure enough, the fluid is moved by cilia. And, and they are going back and forth, 900 beats a minute, according to doctors uh, Krieger and Smith at the University of California. This was done way back in the 60s. And so the, f the fluid needs to move so that it gets washed out. We can wa wash our brain, because if it's not moving, it's stagnant, and the dead cells might get stuck somewhere, you know, or funk up things, you know, get in the way. They get kind of dirty. They're old and dead. You know, who wants old dead cells? You know, we don't want that. So we got to wash them out. So the, this helps to our brain to make negative ions. And that's why people, when they do this, say they sleep better, because their fluid is moving better in their brain. And so and it doesn't matter if you're, you know, if you're neurotypical or if you're neurodivergent, you know, if you have ASD or not. All of us have this fluid that needs to be moving, and because of all the electronics, the cell towers and all this stuff, it's slowing down the fluid. So all of us are a little bit cloudy in here. You know, and it could cause stinking thinking, which might be why people feel irri so irritated these days. So we're going to help ourselves not to feel irritated. Wouldn't that be great? You're going to sleep well at night, and in the day, you're not going to feel irritated. That's, that's a win-win. So go ahead and do this, and, it, and when you do it, um, you know, let us know how it worked for you, how good you're sleeping, and tell your friends. And if you want to see more of my videos, you can, you know, hit the subscribe button because then YouTube will let you know about other videos I make. I've made a bunch of videos. You can check them out. Um, but anyway, I'm just wanting everybody to sleep better because, man, that's a big deal. You know, other than breathing, sleeping is, is what's uh, really cool. <laughs> I'm good at sleeping. <laughs> oh, you might notice that when you go to Target, man, I tell you what, I don't go to Target rarely. Um, but they, that place has got to have a lot of Wi-Fi in it. Because, man, I tell you what, I'm there five minutes. I'm like, oh, let me out of here. Get me out of here. And Walmart, not quite so bad, but still not great. Um, so anyway, go ahead and do this. Subscribe and tell your friends. And let's let everybody sleep well and be less irritated. Will you take care and God bless. <laughs>